In this video, I'm going to go over how to integrate your Boss GT100 with a DAW digital audio workstation. You'll be using just one audio cable to connect the guitar to the GT100 and one USB cable to connect the GT100 to the computer. From that, you will be able to record both dry and wet signals simultaneously. I'll also show how to set up an aggregate device in the Mac OS. That's a tool used to create a combination sound card that you can make with the GT100 and additional sound cards. So you'll be able to hear the output of the GT100 to whatever device you wish. I'll show how to use the DAWs mixer and monitors so you can keep the entire signal chain inside your normal DAWs operating conditions. And then finally I'll show how to reamp a dry track. This will provide an infinite variety of options for reamping, which means changing the amps and effects for your clean channel or your dry channel to provide endless mixing options later on. One additional thing I'll mention about the GT is that you can switch amps and effects on the fly without hearing a pop. This is a very unique attribute worth checking out. Additionally, there's a Boss Tone Studio application you can use. It provides a graphic user interface for the GT100 and you'll be able to use it side by side while your DAW is engaged. So the first thing we need to do is set up an aggregate device using the audio MIDI setup. I've already created one here, but I'll create another one for the sake of this example. Create aggregate device. Here you can select the GT100 as well as whatever output you'll be using to hear the GT100 from your computer. In my case, I'll use the built-in output. You can rearrange the order of the devices here. So here we see four in and four out, which we'll see in our DAW, as well as two additional outputs we'll use to hear. We can name the device GT100. Next, we'll need to change Logic's default output so we'll be able to hear the GT100 through our system. For that, we go to Preferences, Audio, I.O. Assignments, and select the appropriate output which you saw in the Aggregate Devices panel. In my case, it's output 5 and 6 since it was the last device in the chain, the built-in audio output. From here, you can also set up your core audio for your aggregate device you just created. You may also need to toggle the buffer size depending on the latency of your machine. Make sure you also set the input to the same device and apply changes. Now we need to set up three audio channels in Logic Audio. The first is our process channel, also known as the primary. It carries the affected sound of the GT100. It uses inputs 1 and 2 of the GT100 and goes to our main stereo out which in my case is my computer's audio output. You can also send it to your monitor's output. The second channel is the clean or dry input. It's also known as the secondary. It uses inputs 3 and 4 and has no output because I don't want to hear the dry signal mixed with the process signal. The third channel is the reamp channel. This is where we would take our clean recordings, hold them down, so that we can resend them to the process channel, which is this one. From that, you would be able to try different amp combinations on the fly with an infinite variety of combinations available. You could also take additional process material and rerun it through using the same principles or any other kind of audio material. The reamp channel uses outputs 3 and 4 of the GT100 with no input. So here are some examples of the clean, processed, and reamp signal.
When using reamp to reprocess the signal, you'll want to disconnect your guitar from the input of your GT100, because whatever you're playing on the guitar will also be processed simultaneously into the new recording. There's many ways to go about this. This is just one example of this routing structure. Here are the settings I use to prepare the GT100 for this style of USB recording. You go to System, and you toggle to USB. I have my mix level set to 0, effect output level set to 200, loopback is off, direct monitor is on. On page 2, we have the signal set to 0 for the effect level, and the dry output set to 200. You may have to adjust your levels accordingly. 